Cambridge English. First Certificate in English. Listening Test. 2015. Handbook. I am going to give you the instructions for this test. I shall introduce each part of the test and give you time to look at the questions. At the start of each piece, you will hear this sound. You will hear each piece twice. Remember, while you are listening, write your answers on the question paper. You will have five minutes at the end of the test to copy your answers onto the separate answer sheet. There will now be a pause. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now open your question paper and look at part one. You will hear people talking in eight different situations. For questions one to eight, choose the best answer A, B or C. Question one. You hear a young man talking about his hobby of rock climbing. It's not for everyone, but I love the physical aspect. I started almost by accident. My uncle took me to an indoor climbing wall, <laughs> and I was hooked. The start of any climb still gives me a real buzz. I've never settled for being less than the best at anything I've tried, and that's what pushed me to the standard I am now, which doesn't mean I don't think I can still improve. I get a huge sense of achievement when I finish a particularly demanding climb, and though other climbers get nervous sometimes, like when there's ice or the weather's bad, that never puts me off. It's not for everyone, but I love the physical aspect. I started almost by accident. My uncle took me to an indoor climbing wall, <laughs> and I was hooked. The start of any climb still gives me a real buzz. I've never settled for being less than the best at anything I've tried, and that's what pushed me to the standard I am now, which doesn't mean I don't think I can still improve. I get a huge sense of achievement when I finish a particularly demanding climb, and though other climbers get nervous sometimes, like when there's ice or the weather's bad, that never puts me off. Question 2. You hear a public announcement at a family theme park. Attention everybody, this is Sonia Lee and I'm Events Manager for today at SeaWorld Centre. If you hurry to Zone D, you can catch the spectacular Riding with Dolphins event. The next one's on at 5 past 11, but don't worry if you miss that because you've got three more chances to see it today. We'll now be feeding the sea lions at 2.15, that's 45 minutes later than scheduled according to your programs. And whatever you do, don't miss the ever-popular penguin walkabout. That starts in half an hour. You've never seen anything like it. See you there! Attention everybody, this is Sonia Lee and I'm Events Manager for today at SeaWorld Centre. If you hurry to Zone D, you can catch the spectacular Riding with Dolphins event. The next one's on at 5 past 11, but don't worry if you miss that because you've got three more chances to see it today. We'll now be feeding the sea lions at 2.15, that's 45 minutes later than scheduled according to your programs. And whatever you do, don't miss the ever-popular penguin walkabout. That starts in half an hour. You've never seen anything like it. See you there. Question 3. You hear two people talking about a course they have attended. I enjoyed that. It was a bit too businessy for me. I know everything's about profits these days, but I still think producing books should be more about creativity than making money. Everything's going the same way, whether you like it or not. 
A friend of mine did a course on book illustration, and she said the first lecture was about costs. Anyway, this speaker said if we're going into the book trade, we should get practice in as many aspects as possible. I agree with that. They need an editor for the sports page on the student newspaper, and I think I'll go for it. I enjoyed that. It was a bit too businessy for me. I know everything's about profits these days, but I still think producing books should be more about creativity than making money. Everything's going the same way, whether you like it or not. A friend of mine did a course on book illustration, and she said the first lecture was about costs. Anyway, this speaker said if we're going into the book trade, we should get practice in as many aspects as possible. I agree with that. They need an editor for the sports page on the student newspaper, and I think I'll go for it. Question four. You hear two people talking about a film they have both seen. Well, what did you think of that film? I had mixed reactions, really. From what I'd read, I expected it to be funnier. I know what you mean. Just shows how different people's tastes can be, I guess. Good twist at the end, though. I wasn't expecting that. Were you? I kind of guessed what was coming, to be honest. There were a lot of references to other films in the storyline. I thought. Oh, you think so? I wasn't quite sure what message it was trying to convey, though. One minute it seemed to be saying one thing, and the next it was saying the opposite. Yeah, I agree. Well, what did you think of that film? I had mixed reactions, really. From what I'd read, I expected it to be funnier. I know what you mean. Just shows how different people's tastes can be, I guess. Good twist at the end, though. I wasn't expecting that. Were you? I kind of guessed what was coming, to be honest. There were a lot of references to other films in the storyline. I thought. Oh, you think so? I wasn't quite sure what message it was trying to convey, though. One minute it seemed to be saying one thing, and the next it was saying the opposite. Yeah, I agree. Question five. You hear a man being interviewed about a new project he has set up in his hometown. Stephen, this new environmental project you're running, what are you hoping to achieve? Well, Susie, the town I live in, Melbury, is a very pleasant place to live, clean and tidy. The problem really isn't with Melbury as such, but is a wider problem, that of the dangers of rubbish to wildlife. So I got all the retailers in the town together and showed them a film I'd made on this subject. And as a result, they've agreed to use paper bags instead of plastic ones. Recycling was introduced very successfully last year, so I'm hoping that my new project will have similar success. Stephen, this new environmental project you're running, what are you hoping to achieve? Well, Susie, the town I live in, Melbury, is a very pleasant place to live, clean and tidy. The problem really isn't with Melbury as such, but is a wider problem, that of the dangers of rubbish to wildlife. So I got all the retailers in the town together and showed them a film I'd made on this subject. And as a result, they've agreed to use paper bags instead of plastic ones. Recycling was introduced very successfully last year, so I'm hoping that my new project will have similar success. Question six: You hear a man talking on the radio about salespeople. Professional salespeople can sell anything to anyone, and they do this by using very basic psychological techniques. Buyers normally have certain requirements by which they will judge the suitability of a product. The seller therefore attempts to find out what these conditions are by building a bond, asking questions about hobbies, family, and the like. But you need to remember the seller is only interested in closing the deal. At its most extreme. Salespeople will even attempt to mirror the body language of the buyer. If the buyer laughs, then so will the seller. Professional salespeople can sell anything to anyone, and they do this by using very basic psychological techniques. Buyers normally have certain requirements by which they will judge the suitability of a product. The seller therefore attempts to find out what these conditions are by building a bond, asking questions about hobbies, family, and the like. 
But you need to remember, the seller is only interested in closing the deal. At its most extreme, salespeople will even attempt to mirror the body language of the buyer. If the buyer laughs, then so will the seller. Question 7. You hear two friends talking about a student website. The college website is up again. Have you seen it? Yes, they've been working on it for a month and it's better now. I thought if they'd got sponsorship from local companies, there'd be too many advertisements. But it's OK. Yeah, that's not a problem. They must have got someone in from the design department to work on it, because there's some real improvements. It's not so dull. Especially the artwork on the home page. They want people to send in ideas so they can change the layout regularly. OK, so long as it doesn't get too complicated and you waste time figuring out how to get to the page you want. The college website is up again. Have you seen it? Yes, they've been working on it for a month and it's better now. I thought if they'd got sponsorship from local companies, there'd be too many advertisements. But it's OK. Yeah, that's not a problem. They must have got someone in from the design department to work on it, because there's some real improvements. It's not so dull. Especially the artwork on the home page. They want people to send in ideas so they can change the layout regularly. OK, so long as it doesn't get too complicated and you waste time figuring out how to get to the page you want. Question 8. You hear a chef talking about taking part in a cookery competition. How did you find the competition? Tough, but I really enjoyed it. I was convinced the dishes I'd chosen to prepare would go down well. I decided to focus on using local ingredients as people nowadays worry a lot about what they're eating and it's really important to know where the food comes from. It was my first time competing against others and it was fun being under pressure to come up with things under strict time limits. I hadn't expected to be so worn out though. I think it was having to be on my feet for so long, but it's definitely something I'll do again. How did you find the competition? Tough, but I really enjoyed it. I was convinced the dishes I'd chosen to prepare would go down well. I decided to focus on using local ingredients as people nowadays worry a lot about what they're eating and it's really important to know where the food comes from. It was my first time competing against others and it was fun being under pressure to come up with things under strict time limits. I hadn't expected to be so worn out though. I think it was having to be on my feet for so long but it's definitely something I'll do again. That is the end of part one.